Unmarked on any major map lies Koroit Opal Field. Population 15. 47 degrees in the summer. No electricity, no running water. And the only place on earth where you can find the Koroit nut. Unique opal that forms elaborate and highly sought after patterns in the local limestone. So where we're going is uh, the heart of Koroit. It's a 40-acre claim. That's massive. Rod's a bit of a king out here. He's, um, he's someone who's done well in the opal mining game. On this particular claim, he's actually on opal right now. He needs a bit of a hand, though. He's, you know, he's not a young fella, so he needs some muscle. That's where we come into it. So we're coming out here to help him out. Uh, the arrangement we've come to is basically a 30% stake in whatever we find and sell. He needs us and we need him. Yes, Sophia, here it is. Here we go. Isaac Andreu, his sister Sophia, and her partner Chris Daff are taking the leap. Hey, here. From highly experienced opal cutters and sellers to miners. Under the watchful eye of 60-year veteran and family friend, Rod Griffin. I know their parents from way back, done business together. They have limited experience in mining, but they're both willing to learn. They're honest, they're enthusiastic, and I need help. This is the area we're going to dig. We want that boulder out of the wall there. What's the chances of the rest of this collapsing when it comes out? Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Here she comes. Let's get a couple of hands on the top of it. No, 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 stay away. Chris is a strong young lad. I mean, any help is good help. Initially, I was a chiropractor. I took off from there and, and found myself uh, bumping into Sophia. And, there, and here I am. Now I'm in the desert digging up opal. Beauty. <laughs> All right. OK, what we're going to do is pick up these pieces here and have a look at them that fell out around it. There's a lot at stake. If we don't find opal, if we don't find enough opal and um, be able to process it and sell it on, then the dream's over. This little one? There's a bit of pattern, not much colour. Uh, we've got debts, and um, if we don't bring home the bacon, everything's going to fall over. Koroit nuts are individual ironstone boulders sitting in a layer of sandstone earth formed millions of years ago when water and opal forming silica seeped inside the semi-porous rocks. How the unique Koroit patterning is formed is a mystery, but individual pieces have sold for over $100,000. Hopefully we get a, um, a piece like that running right through the, the boulder. I'm sure when we yeah. dig up here, we will, because yeah. I can see the colour in the wall up there. Yeah. That's you? why I want to go in there next, you see? All right, great. All right. So Rod's just dug out a little section of the wall just where the layer was, so we're just going to sift through it. There we go, what's that? Is anything good? This one looks all right, it's promising. No, it's just clay. These things could be the size of a pea or the size of a football. There's a lot at stake. I'm not forgetting that. That's at the forefront of my mind. We've got some money to make. It's not only finding the nuts, we've got to get them processed, we've got to get them sold. Clay, there's a long way to go. Uh, nothing in that. All right, I'll keep looking. Yeah, what's Where's this? This little guy be a nut, you reckon? Yep, that's a nut. Just stick, hey, hey, turn yeah. the hammer over and hit the other end and nick it. Try and just nick the side of it, bro, not down the middle, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we're looking for, hey? Right. Hey. Yes. Now, that pattern is what Croy is famous yes. for. Oh, we're just getting the first taste of exactly what we're looking for, which is patterns and electric colour. That's awesome. Now, we won't hit it again. We'll take it back to the saw, open it up carefully. That's the way. And expose the gem that's inside. Well done, Chris. If Boulder was a, a dollar a pound, I'd be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, and it's starting. 
That's probably about two or three thousand dollars worth of opal in there. Let's grab some nuts. Just take it easy. See this, guys? They fall out and you can't see them. Uh, it's a big kicker. Whoa, 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 that's what we're looking for, guys. This is a fully impregnated um, karoit nut. Don't nice. Know? And who knows what else is inside. Look at this. Right, Whoa. check this out. <laughs> <Yay>. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> <Good boy. laughs> Finally something amazing. This is the sort of piece that we don't want to um, hit. It's already sort of broken off in the ground. All we want to do with this is take it back and saw it up carefully. That's that famous karoit pattern in there. That's brilliant. It's like the old stuff that mum and dad used to get. Sweet. That's awesome. Good Love job. it, guys. Well done. Good job, guys. Yeah. Hey. You win it. <laughs> Isaac, the Opal Whisperer, has six polishing wheels with different grades of diamond impregnated abrasion, using the smoother wheels for the final Opal polish. Check this out, man. I'm just about to expose the colour from the top. Got to be careful on it though, because if you're pressing too hard on that, this iron stone is super hard but it's brittle. And it can just crack, fall apart, shatter. It gets tempting to just grind into it, but you can't do it. You've got to go slow. That's the first rule. Slow ball, and the second rule is go slower. Okay. This one here, overlooking the light. Wow. Yeah. See that red? Yeah. That's one of the best stones we've found there. Full of colour. Absolutely gorgeous. In six hours, Isaac shapes 12 Koroit nut stones, featuring the full spectrum of colours in the patterning. They've been polished, and there's 175 grams. Oh, yeah, I've got a couple of nuts here as well that we found at the bottom of the bucket, so, you know, who knows what's inside, probably empty like the others. Got to lift this for us, Chris. I'll just... Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait, sun, water. Check this out, the sun, man. Oh, dude. Yeah. Grab Sophia, get up. Sir? Is she coming? She's not here at the moment. She's going off somewhere. What the hell is she? Mate. Holy Mate. shit. Mate, man. Ah, oh, dude, blue. Oh. That is the most inky blue. That's just absolutely electric. Woo! Out of all the random empty nuts, and that's what this material does. I'm so glad you were there to see that. Ah, <laughs> good. Yes. Brilliant. Yes.